What's up guys, Sharky Cello here again. As you guys can see here, you can see my freaking hand. Oh my god, that means I'm actually showing you decklist profile, and that means I can actually show you my Yu-Gi-Oh cards now. I can show you my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, guys, so let's get ready for that. No, I'm just kidding, but anyway, guys, um, I'm back in my apartment, so I have hold of my a collection of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I'm allowing you to, sh and I'm uh, happy to say that I'm going to show you a deck profile right away. Uh, I've been working on this deck for about a week now. Um, it is a uh, version one uh, for this format. I do have a deck profile of this uh, last format. This is my Worm Rabbit deck. So um, I'm going to be showing you that, guys. Um, this is more of a tier two deck, tier 2.5 deck. Uh, more of a fun deck. More of a you just want you guys want a free win at region. I mean your regionals. No, uh, you guys want a, a easy win at your locals. Really fun deck. You know, um, good stuff like that. So anyway, guys, I want to show you my deck less profile. It does have a little bit of consistency issues, but uh, I will be able to fix that in the next version. Um, so anyway, guys, without further ado. Just kidding. Without further ado, I'm going to uh, show you um, my deck list profile. So anyway, guys, uh, we're going to be starting off with three shock troopers and uh, your one rescue rabbit. I know rescue rabbit's at one now, but the deck still works really well with rescue rabbit. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's your first engine of the deck. Uh, your second is essentially all your worm reptile monsters, which is your 3X, your 3 Yayan. Your three, uh, your two Carteros, and your two Tentacles. Now you guys might be asking, why the hell am I running two Tentacles? Uh, tentacles works out really well in this deck. The, you guys are going to see why Tentacles is really strong in this deck, and uh, why I'm not running certain cards and all this other good stuff. But Tentacles is really strong. It allows you to attack twice. He's 1700, and he's also a light type monster. So when you attack twice and banish a monster, you can go on oh, is that bitch, <laughs> and then just wreck him for a lot of life points. So honest, really strong in this deck. One honest, and that rounds up all the light monsters, uh, reptile, all that other good stuff. So next is two evil dragon anatas. I know this is Worm King, so I couldn't find my second evil dragon anata, but you need to run two evil dragon anatas, or it doesn't work. You can run three, but that's overkill, and you might end up drawing that stuff left and right. But uh, your two evil dragon anatas are really freaking strong in this deck. It works out really well. Uh, and last but not least, to round out your monsters is your two maxis because. Um, People like the special summon stuff, so Maxis is really strong. Um, your two Polyduality, I mean two, your three Polyduality, your three MSTs because Heavy Storm is deleted now, <laughs> your uh, Book of Moon because everything's flip effects and you can protect yourself also, your Heavy Storm, and last but not least, your, th uh, your two Forbidden Lance because Forbidden Lance is really strong in this deck. And now you see why I run two of these guys. So you can just activate this and then just run over monsters left and right. And at the same time protecting your monsters. So uh, next is your two uh, offering to the snake deities. is essentially an Icarus attack. What it does is that uh, destroy one reptile monster you control and, just, and then destroy two cards your opponent controls. So pretty freaking cool. Uh, Icarus attack for worms. I run two. You can run three. Three works really well. But I just like the two. Um, two Phoenix Chains because you want to protect your monsters like always. Um, you want to negate their attack, negate their effects, stuff like that, you know, really strong card. Um, your ne next is two uh, Dimensional Prison, uh, one Compulsory Activation Device because you can only run one, uh, one Solemn Warning, your two Mirror Force, I did not run three because I think three is an overkill. And last but not least, to round up your traps, is your return from a different dimension. Now you guys might be asking, why am I not running this card? Now um, if you guys saw how the deck works and uh, saw what I was trying to do here, you would, you would realize that uh, WNW Meteorite is not really a good card. Um, yes, it gives you the ability to draw and ability to activate your flip effects on your reptile monsters again, and at the same time allows you to special summon level 7 a higher reptile monster from your, de uh, from your deck. But that's what I'm not trying to achieve here. What I'm trying to achieve is that I'm trying to uh, try to defeat my opponent as quickly as possible, trying to uh, special summon as many reptile monsters as quickly as possible, and go on to so many exceed monsters as quickly as possible. With W Nebula, with W, I just said it right now, now I can't say it. With W Nebula Meteorite, um, you mainly want to control your opponent with this card. And, um,. You know, it, it resets your reptile monsters uh, effects again. It allows you to draw cards. This is more of a, if you're trying to p play a control build, uh, this card is freaking amazing if you're trying to play control build. But at the way I'm trying to play it, it doesn't work out that well with rabbits. It doesn't work out. It's really inconsistent and it doesn't work out. And when you draw it, you just 
don't know. You just don't want to draw it at any point in the game. Not even, like, if you have a really good hand, you still don't want to even draw this card. So this card is not really that great in this deck. I hope I explained that really well. So anyway, guys, um, extra deck, uh, pretty freaking standard. Uh, these are the only five cards you actually have to run. Everything else is just whatever the hell your preference. Uh, your three King Pharaoh Amps, because you're trying to special summon this guy as quickly as possible uh, to get your engine rolling. Uh, your Degusto Emerald, you know, just to, since uh, Potter Avarice is banned, Degusto Emerald is your second best option. And last but not least, your uh, Lavo Chain to get into the to get the cards that you want as quickly as possible and to thin out your deck by sending your Yigans to the graveyard. So, really freaking awesome. So, anyway, guys, tell me what you guys think about this deck. If you guys want me to explain anything, any combos, all that good stuff, I will do it in another video because I would do it on this video, but. This video will go at least 20 minutes long because there's so many freaking good combos you can do with this deck. So many good uh, plays you can do with this deck. And uh, just if you guys want to see that, then please like the video. Please tell me down in the comments down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye.